All right, so we're set up to access our virtual private servers using a public key encryption method rather than passwords, and that's more secure, but the trade-off is that when you want to log in, you've got to have access to your private key file to be able to initiate the handshake correctly. And so it's a little bit less convenient if you're moving around from computer to computer to computer. Now, if you're always working from the same computer, then it's probably just fine, but if you're like me and you have to go from classroom to classroom, it'd be nice if there was you know, some convenient way for those tokens to follow you around. And it turns out there's a really great extension for Chrome that uh, does this. And so I'm going to come to the Chrome store. And I'm going to search for the Secure Shell extension. And here it is. I'll go ahead and add it to Chrome. Uh, it says you can display notifications, read accessibility settings, modify data, cut, copy and paste. That's great. Add the extension. It'll give me another tool now up here in my extensions area of Chrome. And I'll go ahead and open up that secure shell client. So I can either choose to modify the options or uh, connect. So I'll use the connection dialog. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do here is actually bring in my private key. So I'm going to come here to the identity dropdown. And whoops, I'm going to choose the import next to the identity dropdown. And I'm going to find that .ssh folder. Now, when I'm browsing for that folder, it might be difficult to find because it's not a visible file. It's, it's in, the folder is invisible by default. But you should still be able to go to it if you come to your home directory and just type in .ssh. Then we can select the private key, but we also need the public key as well. So with both of those files selected, I will just say I want to open those files. That now gives me an identity here that I can use to uh, authenticate. So now let's go ahead and put in the information for the host. Username is going to be student. And host name will be my IP address, 38.76.11.222. Port will be 22, but that's the default. In fact, all the rest of the things uh, will be default. You can change the description of this if you want. Um, I'm going to leave the default one there. And so, in fact, as soon as I click up here, it's going to record that as my connection. So now I should be able to click right here on the connection, and that should try to connect to that server or double click. Uh, are you sure this is the first time we're authenticating through this approach? Are you sure you want to continue? Y E S. And so now I'm configured here. So I now have a separate, it's a window separate from Chrome that allows me to uh, work with that server. I can come and now, now that option will be an option right here in my, in the drop down when I open the extension. I can connect on that again and it should open another window and take me right to that same location. And so now I've got two windows open, each of which is connected onto that server. Uh, and that's using the Chrome extension. That's wonderful.